when everything goes wrong, and I mean when everything goes wrong, it's good to take a moment just to regroup and get back to the reason why we started this in the first place. This is Luke, and I'm Lori, and we moved our entire lives to the south of Brazil so we could save this sinking sailboat. But it is putting us to the test. Now we've been incredibly lucky, but this week we're paying our dues. And if you want to send us a little bit of luck so we can make it to the end and get this boat back in the water, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. Okay, Selmo is now working on the windows of our forward berth, which is this wraparound window part. So it's really complex. We have all of these strange angles. Of course, as you know, in our boat is just full of strange angles. So he's got to figure this out. How is he going to create the frames and everything here? Look good, look mirrored, and yeah, it's a challenge. But just as we got going, the weather turned and things started to go downhill, starting with our health. Luke and I caught a bad bug going round, and one by one, we were down for the count. And the next day, the sun came up, but it didn't bring us much good fortune. All right, let's do this. Flat tire on the Fahari. So we also don't have a jack in this car, evidently, and our spare tire is another bald and flat tire, so. Um, we're gonna try to get this little guy to, there's like a tire store close by, so.
liking this video so far? These episodes are made possible by our Patreons and viewers like you. If you'd like to support our journey as we take you alongside us for the bride of a lifetime, consider joining our Patreon crew, where we give you exclusive benefits and our eternal gratitude. We did it. It was quick, it was fast. The guy was awesome. 25 reais, that's like $5. Yeah, $5. Back to work. <laughs> Another day, and another chance to get it right. Or not. way to the boat again and unfortunately another day another problem with the Fahadi so we're gonna fix this and try to get back to work For a mechanic but nobody's available for like three days so we bought the part that was easy enough right down the street and we borrowed a couple tools because we don't have the, the little wrenches in order to get this pieces off and we're gonna try to go at it now just luck New piece is that shiny black one. Hooked it all up, adding water. There's probably a lot to say about rough seas. Like how to stay positive, how to not take things personal, and how to just keep your eyes on the horizon and just keep going. I got car sick on my way here, which is literally not a good sign for sailing. <laughs> We're here for something really special and we're usually working on the boat all the time so we don't really get out that much so we wanted to bring you and me somewhere special today now there are a lot of projects that were slowly chipping away on the boat and they're still in the works on top of all of the things that went sideways this week so we're feeling a little like the weather and because of that, we decided to head over to a very special place in Itajaí, down here in Brazil, to visit our friend Dudu. Now you might remember him. He's the electrician who created his very own custom control panel for boats. But today, he's going to show me the ropes. Luke has been sailing his whole life, starting with his family. But myself, I'm still getting my sea legs. And this is the perfect place to do that. We're here at Annie, the Associação Nautica de Itajaí, or Itajaí Nautical Association. 
It's a non-profit organization here in Brazil that was the creation of Vilmar and Higana Brás, a couple from Itajaí who traveled 32,600 nautical miles around the world. During their travels, they visited Italy and they discovered a project that provided the opportunity to practice sailing for the local community. So when they returned in 2002, they set off to create these same opportunities here in Brazil to spread their love, passion, and knowledge of sailing and nautical culture to the young people. So they too can be empowered by sailing as well. Here you can get free sailing classes from the members who are more than excited to show you that sailing isn't just about catching the wind, but also about being part of a community. support Annie, head over to their website and see how you can participate. You can also sign up for free sailing lessons there, so don't miss out on that amazing opportunity. Join us next week as our luck takes a turn for the better in our sailboat restoration project and things start to get real interesting in our interior builds.